Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix Windows 10 search box uh, not working properly. Sometimes you can't even type in here like so. Uh, when you try to click on it, nothing happens and you won't be able to type in here. And this is a big issue uh, with Windows 10 and I'll show you about four or five different methods of trying to fix this. Now, because we can't type in the search box, right click on the taskbar and click task manager. This will open up a little box, click on more, and then we can now look at services. And we're gonna go down the bottom and click open services. This will open up the services pane where we can now check to see if the Windows search service is running. This is the first step that you can take, okay? So let's take a look here and uh, we'll see whether it's running or not. And as you can see here, Windows search is disabled. Just make sure that this is running properly. So just come inside here and put it onto automatic. And then you can uh, click apply. And then you can click start. You need to start the service. And then click OK. And then uh, you may want to reboot your system. But basically, hopefully that should resolve the issue. Now, if it's still not working and you still can't type in the search box, then we're going to go for another step here to try and fix this issue. Okay, so now because we've got restrictions with the search box not working, we're going to go into File Explorer here. I need to open up Control Panel. And because they've removed Control Panel from the right-click context menu, you can come up to the top here, click that star bit and type Control Panel. And this will open up your Control Panel. Inside here, go up to the View By category and click Large Icons. Now look for indexing options. This is your search feature here. So we're going to click on the indexing options box here and uh, go down to where it says advanced. Inside here, you'll see an area called troubleshooting, delete and re rebuild index. There's a little rebuild button there. You can click on this and it will start to rebuild and uh, delete all the old uh, indexes and create a new one. So this does take a bit of time, so be patient. Um, so it could take a good few hours if you've got a large uh, indexing. So just let that carry on and do its thing. At the end of it, it will come up and say indexing is complete. And once you've done that, if you're still having issues, you can come down to the bottom here or open up the troubleshooting pane. And this says troubleshoot search and indexing. Click on this area here and it will then start to detect problems with your search. Now, there will be some boxes here which you can tick. So depending on what your issue is, uh, you can click here. Files do not appear in the search results and so on. So tick the appropriate boxes and then click on next. So you can see here, my problem is not listed above. If you've got that issue, you can click on this and then type out your problem here in a brief description and click next. This will then start to try and detect problems. Try troubleshoot as administrator. Sometimes it needs to run as administrator to try to fix these issues. And then if it were uh, sometimes asked you to put in more description here, and you need to do that, okay? And then click uh, next. Now, once we've tried those three, uh, what you can do is try this next uh, trick that sometimes fixes the issue. Uh, what you want to do is right click and go to run and then in the open box here, you want to type this uh, path in, okay? Click OK, uh, enter, and then you should be okay or okay, it's the same thing. Now what you want to do next, if that still doesn't fix your issues and you're still having problems, we've got other things we can try, and this is a bit more um, like rebuilding the whole search, okay? So what we're gonna do here is right click on the start box and click Windows PowerShell and run this as administrator. You should now see the PS and the blue screen here. This means we're in PowerShell. Up the top, it should say Administrator Windows PowerShell. Then put in this command here, PowerShell uh, dash uh, exception policy unrestrict, and this will unrestrict any uh, policies that you have on there. Now what we need to do is paste in this long command. I will leave all these in the video description so you can uh, use these and just copy and paste them in, okay? Because they are quite lengthy. Let that do its thing, and this will take a bit of time to uh, 
fix the issue that you may be having and this will take a bit of time so be patient and then once this is done you should have your search box back up and running okay so we can close this off now you can type exit if you want or just push uh, the cross at the top so let's try one more thing here if you're still having issues now the, I've tried try to show you many different ways of getting to these places if the search box is finished but if you right click on your start button and you see command prompt here instead of Windows PowerShell you can get to uh, command prompt or PowerShell via the task manager window and you can click on file run new task and this will run any task you want from here a command prompt PowerShell you just type in PowerShell put a tick in the box that says create this task and run this with administrator rights and it will give you the privilege to run that okay from that uh, location now this is great if you can't type stuff into the search box you can also use the run box as well paste this command in and push enter and hopefully after all that you should have a fixed uh, window search box so let's test ours out now you may need to reboot your system at times uh, and this will help uh, try to fix these issues okay so you've not seen me reboot that's because I've cut that part out but now you can see the search box is now working perfectly well and hopefully this resolves all your issues anyway I hope this fix helps you out I've tried to leave all the information in the video description if you need it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys see you again real soon for a new video bye now, for now. if you haven't subscribed yet you can go to my main YouTube channel here click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.